Hello and welcome. In this video, we want to learn how to use the glucose meter. The glucose meter has been designed to be so user friendly so that it's very easy for everyone to use, either a health professional or any patient at home. But then there are certain little, little technicalities that are very important to know. And that is the purpose of this video to highlight certain important technicalities that you need to know if you are going to use this device correctly so this is a glucose meter i have two different ones here this one is made or is called galivia plus and this one is called VivaCheck. so two different glucose meters from two different manufacturers but they are supposed to deliver okay so this is the glucose meter the glucose meters usually comes with their strips so this is a box of galivia strips so open and then it looks like this so that is for galivia and then we also have viva check strips it looks like this let me open so that you see the strips are in this form, protected by the foil. You have to open and then tear the foil to bring the strip up. So very similar to the one we had in Galivia. Okay, so usually these uh, glucose meters comes with a pricking lancet. A lancet looks like this. This is for pricking to allow blood to come so that you can measure. Good. We also have a pricker which looks like this to use this you open it like this and then you insert one of the lancets into it and then you press it down so that it sets then you lock it back again then you can set the level that you want so from one, two, three, four, five. Then if you want to prick yourself, you press this button and then the needle or the lancet will come and then prick your finger. Now, this is the part of the finger and has a lot of innervation. And so when you prick this part, there's more pain. If you prick the side of the finger, see here, there's less pain because it's less innovated than the part of the finger so, now let me explain the principle of how these glucose meters work very simple just as we measure glucose in the lab using let's say glucose oxidase method it's the same thing here just that in this case we are using the dried form of the reagent that has been embedded on this plastic strip in parts as we can see here so what is inside here a dried form of the reagent when you insert the strip into the glucose meter it will start beeping like this showing you or indicating that put your blood when you now aspirate an amount of blood, what happens is that the blood reacts with the dried reagents. And then as the reaction occurs, a current will be produced. And then the glucose meter measures that current by electrochemistry to generate a result. So that is how this machine works. That's the principle. It's the same for this one too. Okay. So I'm going to measure my glucose level with these two different machines. So same here, you insert the strip and then it shows the beeping sign for blood. This is my alcohol part. I'm going to rub the part of my finger that I want to prick. I have my pricking lancet here 
or my lancing device here i already have the lancet in there and then you realize that i did not wipe the first drop of blood this is because newer technologies have taken into consideration the dilution by tissue fluid and so increasingly you would not uh, need to uh, wipe the first drop of blood before you measure after everything you wipe the blood from your finger so that is all so this device gave me 6.6 .6, and then this device gave me 6.9 almost the same almost the same in clinical chemistry because of precision there are difference in results okay so that is how to use this device now very important another important thing we need to take note of is that different devices come with their own reference range in clinical chemistry this is very important reference range it's what makes the results meaningful you may have one at home which might not read the same when you do at home and then when you come to the lab it doesn't mean your device is wrong each device comes with their own reference rate and so do well to check the insert of the glucose meter or the strip for your reference ranges this is the insert for the galivia and we are going to look for the reference range now in your shot is the reference range for the galivia it's saying that for before breakfast this is the reference ring that is 3.9 to 5.8 so this should be your reference range before breakfast and then before lunch or dinner this is your reference ring it goes on and on also if you are in a region where blood sugar is measured in milligram per deciliter this is your conversion formula so you use this formula to convert so let's say if we measured our glucose in millimole per liter and we want to convert to milligram per deciliter we will multiply by 18 and that will give us the equivalent in milligram per deciliter so this is the reference ranges for this particular glucose meter which is the galivia and then the Viva check also has its own reference range. So let's look at it. There you go. So it says before meals, it should be between 3.9 to 7.2. You realize that for fasting for the Galivia, it was 3.9 to 5.8. Here we have 3.9 to 7.2. And so different devices comes with their reference range and you should always make sure that you interpret your results based on the reference range supplied in the insert. This is very, very important to get good or quality results so this is how to use the glucose meter i hope you learned a few things and we'll meet again bye